Welcome to my store. Okay, I'll blue that. Yeah. Then I told her, you don't want to, to go and sure I spent more than a hundred bucks for a fish, and if something goes wrong, it's gonna die, that better to pay ten bucks for one fish, that you're gonna make sure that you're gonna put in your tank, ten or twenty or whatever, and make sure that the typhoon is done well, and if something goes wrong, you don't lose that much money. And what's that the other way to use the yellowtail blue damsel instead of a flame angel? I don't know, you tell me. Because of the size. Oh, you see, the fish the will produce ammonia. It's a byproduct of digestion and respiration. Okay, any uneaten food, any fish waste will all pro produce ammonia. If the ammonia level gets too high, you'll actually burn the fish's gills. Plus, ammonia goes into the fish's bloodstream the same as carbon monoxide goes into ours. It ties on to the oxygen-carrying parts of the blood, and it won't let go, so the fish will actually slowly suffocate. If you get an ammonia burst, your fish could die a month later from that condition that happened a month earlier. But after a couple of months, the fish has all the new blood cells that have replaced the old ones, then you're okay. Okay, then, uh, to be short with, uh, we did the, 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 the salt, we put the fish, and uh, then if the, everything goes well after those two weeks, having my little fish uh, in it, then I can, if, how do I know if everything goes well? Do I have to test the water? Or it's just only the meaning of seeing the fish swimming around and not dead? That means the control of the water is okay for me to add another fish. When do I know? The safest way to fish? do it is by testing the water. Testing See, when you water. first put a fish in there, he starts producing ammonia, and the ammonia level will rise. And as the bacteria that convert the ammonia to nitrate, they multiply. Then the ammonia level drops and the nitrite level rises. When the nitrite converting bacteria rise up, the nitrate level will drop. That's the time that you know that it's safe to add another fish. If you test your water, you can watch the ammonia go up, the nitrite go up. But you see, so up. many people are, and mostly the beginners, I know that the, the ones who already are in, into the uh, fish tank and have this, have that, they go all through that process. But some people that just want to begin with fish, uh, they don't want to be, uh, or they don't have any idea how to use the test kit, how to do this, how to do that, that it's possible for them just to go ahead and pull and see that the fish is doing well to add other fish. Yes. There's also instructions in all of the test kits. Well, yeah, there's instructions in all of the test kits, but if a person doesn't want to buy the test kit, they can do it without a test kit. Okay. Basically, it's time. If you have a fish in there for six months and he's still alive, he's went through the cycle. So basically, by using the test kit, you know the soonest point that you can add another fish. But if you put a fish in and wait two months and he's fine, you've went through the cycle and then you can add another fish. Yeah, because I get clients that they get so excited and so fast they want to have those looking fish then in there. Then they should buy a test kit. It's better for them to not to to avoid any problems yeah. in the future, if they're really serious and to have uh, like saltwater uh, well, tank you or want, any... If you want the fastest fish tank in the world, use a test kit, use bacteria culture. Basically, you put the water in the tank. Say you go to the store and you buy a bottle of water. That's already still water. Because when you take water out of the pipes, it's under pressure and it has all those bubbles in it. If you get a bottle of water from the grocery store, it's got no pressure, it's no bubbles in it. You can dump that in the tank, stir in the salt, pour in the bacteria culture, and you can add your first fish instantly. Okay? Yeah. Then you just put the bacteria in every single day. That way it's converting the ammonia and the nitrite as fast as it's being produced. Okay? Or if you want to do it really fast, what you can do is take a filter from an existing fish tank, take all the water from an existing fish tank, and hook it up on a new fish tank and put your fish in right away. It's as if you never stopped. Good. Or I'll do the same thing as did with the other lady. Any question, you can always email Carol. Ask carol.com. Ask carol.com? <laughs> oh, Carl's Aquarium dot com. Ask Carol's Aquarium dot com. Ask Carol. And they will get the answer uh, uh, pretty soon and soon.
see it there because I can see it. I have seen you uh, guiding customers to to all the success for the fish tanks. I've been have. doing it for over 20 years of my life. Good, Carol. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Okay. <laughs>